Welcome back, everyone who's still alive. It's me, Get Dave, and we're playing Dragon Quest XI. Well, I kind of felt like through the first few episodes... You know, like it was a little... slow-paced and casual, you know, it was slowly ramping us up. Um, oh, good. Night's falling. <laughs> Um, well, they, uh, well, they, they, they got me hooked now. That simple idealistic world. Sure. Maybe we'll have a nightmare like in four. Which also freaked me out. I mean, that's when I was a really little kid, the first time I saw the the dream in Izmit, now known as Strathbale. But yeah, it was seriously freaky. No nightmares or no visions of the past here, though. Yeah, we don't want to go to Cobblestone Tour. Man. Brought a cannon. That ain't right. Hmm. Well, to the... Oh, it's right there. Alright, let's go... Oh, let's see if it's the same horse. Yay, you made it, horse! Just me and you now. Oh, and uh, Eric's here too. Jury's still out on him. Time to take out my anxiety and depression over what just happened by killing random slimes via trampoline. Hmm. Yeah, thanks for telling me about the people in Cobblestone. Good to get to know them now that everything's happened. Hmm. Don't mind Ugh, me. A little flower? Oh, jug of fresh water. And I suppose the science adds up. Yeah. see anything else. Alright. Onward. Yeah, I mean, the story's got me hooked now. I like how he said dig in front of. We're gonna have to make a trench. Alright, is it my letter? There we go. Letters, huh? The top one there has seen better days, that's for sure. From Mom? My dearest, darling baby boy. Oh, boy. When finally you come to read this, I will almost certainly be long dead. You see, not long after you were born, our beloved kingdom of Dundrazil was attacked by an army of monsters. I was forced to flee with you in my arms, and expended the last of my strength in ensuring that you escaped to safety. What about the sister, though? If you though? are fortunate enough to have been found by some kindly soul, you must seek out the king of Heliodor when you come of age. Why? Our kingdom and his have long enjoyed close relations, and your father and I would trust him with our lives. That's why you died, Mom. Never forget, my son. You are a prince of the kingdom of Dundrazil. But more than that, you are the luminary. Yours is a weighty burden indeed. It is you who must stand against the darkness and banish it from our world. In time, you will come to understand. Well, at least I have one friend. 
It breaks my heart to leave you, my darling. Sure beats zero. But it is the only way. I only hope that one day you will learn to forgive me. It's from someone to forgive. important to you, right? Your mother or something? Don't worry, you can tell me about it later. What about the other one? Not now! I mean, yeah. You're a better event some of these. Hmm? To my dearest grandson. Oh, I chalky. haven't the foggiest how you manage it, but I met your future self today. As promised, I've buried some things here that will help you on your way. Oh my. Now, have you read your mother's letter yet? It was in your basket with you when I first found you. It was because of that letter that I asked my Amber to send you to see the king when the time came. I only wish I'd known how things would turn out. Well... I don't know why Dundrasil was attacked, hmm. or why King Carnelian thinks so badly of you. Well, I'm just an ignorant old man from a little village in the country. But I do know that the answers are out there somewhere. Oh, he passed away box, before he could update open the, door of the instructions to off to the east. All right. You must go out into the world and seek the truth. Remember now, don't waste your time bearing grudges and live life with love in your heart. All the best, now and forever. Granddad. Aww. Well, let's go. So we use the keystone to open the door of departure and head out into the world, huh? Well, sounds easy enough. You better believe I'm coming with you. Thanks, buddy. You said it was just east of here, right? Well, what are we waiting for? I was going to wall on self-pity and rage. For. I've got some unfinished business to attend to. The orb. Yeah, what about that? The King's Barrow's not too far from here. And just down the way, in fact. Let's go claim what's rightfully mine. Uh, okay, I'm sure it'll end well. There's... Eric really does not have much trouble running into harm's way. Like, as soon as we escaped Heliodor, he's like, Alright, let's go right back in. I mean, there's a certain, it's the last place they'll look vibe to it, but I don't, I don't think that's why he does it. <laughs> and now we know why we found him in jail. Let's just triple check there. All right. Um... I'm kind of tempted to check out the Oh Holy Night thing. Yeah, let's, let's go check out the campsite quickly. Dismount. Yeah, let's see if we can make some good armor. I'm a little worried about Eric. Ooh. By one. I think that actually does give me a new option, but... Oh, I only have a check by it, because I haven't made a... an ace. Right, that's not happening for a long time. Oh, there we go. Thirteen or more. Okay. Let's give him the Angelo outfit. Oh, too hard. Seems like the second one... I don't know, it could be random, I still don't know.
All right, we might get a plus two out of it. Yay! Yeah, I put it in the bag, all right. All right, Eric, I have better armor for you. Look at that! And since it's Angelo's, he's more charming. All right, that's actually a super big help for his defense stat. I doubt you'll have anything we need. I was gonna sell some stuff though. Oh right, the equipment bag is separate. That's gonna take me some getting used to. That's pretty good coin. Uh yeah, I'll probably part with the divine or the leather armor as well. Keeping the fishnet stockings though, those are an accessory and they often raise your defense by eight. I don't know how they would help at all. All right. Oh, I guess we should see. Oh yeah, he'll give me stuff for the forge. My current weapon's as strong as a broadsword. That's good to know. Oh, but it's a great sword. Well, we don't need that for now, and I would lose my fancy shield. You bet, man. Yeah, you bet. And this will end very well. Hey, we got Stu going. That's um, kind of sad now. So... <laughs> Welcome to Bittersweetness. With me, get Dave. And I'm at least... Uh, those guys. Fine. These guys I kind of thought were... <laughs> were kind of tough in Dragon Quest. Uh, three. They have reasonably good defense a lot of the time. Time to turn you into a high-grade California roll. Yeah, they don't have great magic defense, though. Yeah, I'm just hacking a scythe. Which I've heard is a good board game. Let me know if you've played it and what you think of it. Some sort of seashell? Water sedge. Yeah, I'd eat it. Oh, calamari kids. So these enemies... If they're at all like they are in eight. They're pretty hard to take seriously. Let's just see what happens, but just keep an eye on their turn pretty closely. Yeah, so far nothing. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. That's no joke. In Dragon Quest Eight, they um draw in the sand. <laughs> Alright, there goes one. I oh, might have an issue here. There we go. Kind of a toss-up. I don't want to spend MP every single time I fight them, but I might end up doing it anyway. MP right after staying at uh, a campsite, I should say. I hope there's an advantage to staying in inns. There's lots of advantages to, I guess you're in a town. There's lots of advantages to staying at a campsite right now. 
All right, and now back to the horse. Oh, never mind, we got one more enemy type to fight. Hey, man. <laughs> I like the look of these guys. So far, the cucumber, or the cruel cu cruel cumber is definitely my favorite, but these guys might be second. I kind of like it when an enemy looks like there's maybe not a lot going on. Great success. Huh. Easy. We're actually getting really good experience points in my opinion. Yeah, look at that. I don't feel over leveled. Or under leveled, I should say. Alright, what's your story? I have never seen you before. Kinda like the idea of it being like a a sham hat witch. <laughs> I didn't even catch their name, that's amazing. And an exoskeleton. Oh, Dragon Quest. You're at a 10 out of 10 for silliness. And also a 10 out of 10 for hurting my feelings when you killed everyone I met. Again. Ooh. That poor Sham Hat <laughs> Witch had a, had a bad day. Ah, uh, fine. I will just get the horse first. At first I was thinking, oh wait, ah, we'll check out the... Maybe we'll learn to fish. We'll check out this cabin on the lake. You look like you've got some testosterone. Yeah, sure. Cool, I thought you might teach me how to fish. Or at least give me one. Huh? Well... We robbed him anyway. Alright, let's get inside the King's Barrow, which I'm sure... ...does not contain Hendrik. Even though we know they kind of were there. Uh, on the off chance... Look, I think I'll level up if I fight this guy. We'll get our MP and HP to full on the hero. Yeah, and we'll heal up. We'll just let Eric... Oh, actually, okay. No, we'll let Eric heal. Or Eric do the killing because you'll hit all the enemies. And then we'll go in ready to rumble just in case there's. Dang. You just wasted the healing I did. There we go. Well, sorry, Eric. You're not going to get your hit points back now. New spell learned. Oh, evac. That actually is quite nice to have at a time like this. Eric's close to a level up as well, but we don't have a way of spending his MP yet. I'm sure it's coming. Hmm, this is not what I expected. I really, really thought the stairs were going to be going down. Maybe there's some sort of important document I can read? Huh? Alright. I really like how when we saw the past, there was no setup for it. They just threw us in the deep end. I really like that they did, like, the exposition after. And then it all kind of snapped into place. Hmm. What the heck happened here? 
Someone else is going for the orb? Sorry for clicking too fast there. All right, now the the plot is moving. Yeah, they're dead dead. Well, let's check it out. some smogs there, that's no big deal. Let's dance. Oh, but you're not a tricky little devil. Interesting. Nice. Yeah, these guys... Alright, they're pretty quick. That's weird that we were both faster than them in turn one and both slower in turn two. Who else wants some? <laughs> Probably got a weird contrast of luck. All right, heal slimes. Um, let's just see how this goes. At least we have a boomerang. Oh yeah, he's got. Yeah, he can spend MP actually. Okay, well believe me when I say. It can take longer because they heal. Not the best example. Ah, eh, sure. Let's take a quick look at his board. I kind of want to know how much it's going to cost for that accuracy buff. Thank you. Look at us cracking that thing. Huh. Revealed in two. Boy, they make that look easy. That's really difficult when you can't swing your weight underneath. Okay, so we can get to the other side this way. Or not. Hardy high. Alright, I was kind of hoping for a liquid metal sword, but I'll take it. Okay, fine, colliders. I'll go back in. I like that they also show where we've been. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we might as well check the other side really quickly. Whoa. I'll pick you. We probably can't one-shot them yet, but I think we're going to be getting close. Because they just didn't have that many hit points. Yeah. See, we feel overpowered, but I mean, we're leveling up so quickly. A slime drop. Yep, I had a feeling. Didn't know it was going to be a clockwork cuckoo, but... They sometimes have really hard defense. Yep, there it is. Or sorry, a mechanina. The... the clockwork cuckoos are later. Through them with physical attacks, but since we got psyched up, 
Or I think in Japan they called it um, like being in the zone. Or just the zone status. Another one bites the dust. Hey, copper ore. A wing of bat used to be in Ada was actually a pretty useful alchemy item. That was still reasonably reasonably rare. Well played. You laid a pick, man. Yeah, I think not yet. Oh, he didn't quite get the one shot. Okay, we'll find out if Get Dave can do it. Nope. Forgot his attack power is really close to Eric's. And we're still pepped. Seems that you get about six turns. have one and it's better there we go I'm not expecting much out here but maybe a treasure or a, a sparkle anyway There we go. Ooh, that is a delightful find. Eric, you don't need the gold chain, you got lots of hit points. But I could use some more. Yeah, there we go. Also, Eric looks much more charming. Debatable. Actually, you know what? Between this and FF15, it's been a rough couple of games for haircuts. I'm not gonna lie. The girls in FF15 had good haircuts, but then we saw so little of them. Which is kind of a bummer. Iris was my favorite character in that game. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, you shouldn't laugh. Oh, yeah. This is actually a potential waste of zone, but... Ho-ho-ho! Nice. So when you get a crit in a Dragon Quest game... So I mentioned before that the way damage works is like you, um have your attack power. You know, your weapon strength plus your your physical strength is your attack power. And you have it to get your guess for damage. There's a randomizer tacked on. Ooh. All right, sign me up. Yeah, he really is prioritizing, which is fine with me. That uh, trance state is bumping up. I'm going to call it everything but Pep. He's bumping up our crit rate really nicely. One bites the dust. I'm just going to go take this first. Two? My goodness, Dragon Quest. Settle down. Oh my goodness, we're inside. This is amazing. Also, did I kill someone inside it before this? Put a feather in your cap. Feathered caps? Yeah. They typically have a defense of eight. It 
It's a very Eye of Saruman slash Palantir combo. Who? Hey, what do you think you're doing? That orb belongs to us. Technically, no. Filthy hands off it. Ah, three-eyed ravens. Whoever you are, you've just made a seriously big mistake. Well, seriously big was my nickname in high. It wasn't. All right, let's go. Uh, conveniently. We got at least one more turn of this. Yeah, Eric's about to run out here, so... And so am I. I'm okay with starting a fight this way. Let's show the animation. It's quick enough. Well, it looks like I'm the healer now. Do your thing, Eric. I'm gonna guess around 100 hit points. Be able to range them a bit more. Whoa. Alright, so one thing you gotta watch out for is thinking Eric needs healing a lot more than the hero because he's at a lower percentage of his hit points. They're at about the same. However, still too higher. We have better MP efficiency because we can, you know, we're going to heal about 30 probably so we can get closer to full value. And the hero has higher defense, so he'll probably take a couple less damage with each strike. Alright, looks like my guess of 100 was pretty close. Would have been nice to do that sooner, but It's nice that it's tracking the buffs on us in the corner. I used to have to do that all mentally. Yeah, we get it. You're gonna go first. Um... No, we'll push the attack a little bit. Yeah, that's just as good as using spells. Boom! Level up, though. <laughs> I won't miss that sound effect. Amateurs. But who the hell were they? And what did they want with the orb? You know, you can ask them these questions before you kill them, and it works better. In my experience, anyway, as a interrogator. Well, whatever. It's back with its rightful owner now. And about time, too. Well, there we you know, go. After they threw me in jail, I thought I'd never see this thing again. But that was pretty easy to get. It. You're some kind of lucky charm, you know that? I've got a feeling that if I stick with you, everything will turn out okay. Yeah, that's exactly Just how it works out for me, everyone. Everything. That's my business. Right, He's gonna throw me in what jail. I came to do? Guess we should head east and check out that door of departure place your grandpa mentioned. Seems reasonable. Also, shoutouts to my boy Shadow Man, who is apparently now God of the Sun. Oh. Oh. I like that the one is sparkling. It's a nice touch, even in battle. Prepare the Sizz. For those of you unfamiliar with the series as well, in the newer ones, how it generally works is the lowest level <laughs> it's pretty goofy the lowest level so? of a spell will just be you know named normally and then they'll add le nice. often that means it multi-attacks as well so sizz to sizzle rubble rouser Ooh. yeah sure let's see what we got oh right yeah, I'm definitely holding up for Zap. I, I don't like Poof. You don't get any experience points for it.
I mean, I might get, yeah, I might get Holy Protection just to unlock that if that's like Kazap or something like that. Anyway, what are we doing here? We can evac. Also, I like that it uh, costs zero MP. In the original Dragon Quest, it was like eight or something like that. I remember... <laughs> I remember getting into a, an argument with uh, one of my siblings. All my siblings are older. Um, and sometimes she and I would play video games together and we were playing Dragon Quest 1 and, and siblings, they can get so friggin' stubborn, especially the older ones when they're wrong. And we got, we were exploring a cave in Dragon Warrior 1 and I was trying to explain why we needed, like we were running out of steam. And like, you know, we'd been kind of worn down a little bit and we had uh, 10 MP left. And so it was enough to cast outside or to heal. And she was like, no, no, we got to heal. And I was like, if you heal even once, we'll die in here. And to spite me, she healed. And um, we died in there. So fun fact, chew on that, sis. We'll see you in the next episode, everyone.